hello friends welcome to another video and in this video we will see one more advanced coding question of TCS NQT of day 3 and I have already uploaded all the coding question of NQT of day 1 and day 2 in Python C++ Java okay because many of you wanted the code in Java and C++ so I made separate video on all the three languages now in this video we will see this question and uh, for this video, I will discuss uh, the code in C++, but I have made a separate video of same question with Java and Python also. So we can, you can go through that, uh, whichever language you are okay with. So we will see this question and uh, it appears to be lengthy, but uh, it is very simple question. So in this slot, they got simple one and you can, you can also get like, uh, it depends on luck, either you can get easy question also or mix of it. So do not worry about all that thing, just keep on practicing. Okay, so you can read the question, but uh, I will explain you with the help of this thing. So the question is like that, uh, there are n players playing a game and we have to find the winner. And uh, the game is like this, that each player will get some box and that box will have some sweets and they have to pack it. And based on that, based on how many um, box they packed, they will get some score. And after getting all the scores, we will see who is the winner. Okay. So let us see the test cases. So initially you will be given number of players playing. So in this case, two players are playing. So after that, you will get n, n lines. In this case, two lines. So this will be player one. This will be player two. Now for each player, the zeroth index will tell how many box that player will get so in this case 5 is there it means this player has 5 boxes and similarly here 4 is there means player 2 has 4 boxes so all the boxes I have drawn for player 1 and player 2 so player 1 has 5 boxes and on each boxes there are some numbers written as you can see now this is written in order to differentiate. Now in inside each boxes, as I told you, there are some sweets kept. So in order to differentiate the sweets, numbers are given. So a box is having number three will have different sweets than box having number four. Similarly, box having number four will have different sweets than number one and similarly different than number two and six. But in this case, both the box has same number. It means both have same suites. Okay. Now we have to find the winner. Now for winner, it is very simple. For winner, we have to get, we have to know the scores. How many scores each player got. And for the scores, there is a simple rule. And the rule is as follows. So a player, if a player packs n boxes, then n points will be added to this to his score. Simple, and player has to pack all the boxes given to them. This is first rule. Now what does this mean? This is very simple. So it is saying that suppose this is the player one, and player one has five boxes, so he will get five points. Simple. Player two has four boxes he will get four points because it is given that player has to pack all the boxes it is necessary and so player one will pack five boxes so he will get five points so see how simple they asked it similarly player two will pack four boxes because they have to pack it they cannot left any box so he will get four points so see how to calculate the point just we have to add this number because this number only is saying how many boxes you have. So player 1 will get 5 points, player 2 will get 4 points. So this was the first method of scoring. Now second one is that uh, there are some provision that you will get extra points also. Now that will depend on number of unique suites they pack. So now you got why numbers were given. So now we have to check how many unique suites player 1 packed. So as I told you, in case of player 1, all numbers are unique. 
so they packed five unique sweets because see all numbers are having unique all boxes having unique numbers it means all boxes have unique sweets so player one packed five unique sweets but player two packed only two unique sweets okay because suppose if you are player two and i will ask you how many sweets you have then what you will say sweet one sweet two okay because sweet these two are same so unique is only two no one or two but in this case all are unique okay so in this way depending on the number of unique sweets packed if the number of unique sweets packed is four one extra point will be given if number of unique sweets packed five two extra point will be given and if number of unique sweets packed is greater than equal to six four extra point will be given and that's all this was the question so by two method we will get the score and we will calculate the winner okay so since player one packed five unique sweets how many extra score he will get or she will get so she will get two extra sweets because she has packed five unique sweets okay so in this way we have to add all the numbers and we have to calculate the score and one more thing is this that player one will always be radha so they have given the question that radha was the organizer of the this uh, game so she will by default will be player one and for all the rest player will be called with their number like player two player three player four so on okay so just first player will be radha and second will be player two third will be three player three player four so on okay so i hope you understood the question and also the logic so i think there is nothing to worry in this question you can easily code this so let me give you a, a overview so let us calculate the score of radha so what we have thought that we will calculate all the scores and we will append in one vector so i have made one ns vector answer vector and in this we will append all the scores of each player and then we will find the maximum okay so score of radha is very simple at first we will add this 5 because this 5 is only saying that there are five boxes and since you have to pack all the boxes five scores will be given yeah or i yeah, already told you that uh, number of boxes is equal to number of score so if player one packed five boxes which he has to pack because he has to pack all the boxes so we will just directly add this 5 to the score and plus extra so as i told you in case of player 1 in case of radha five unique boxes they she packed so she will get two extra point so the final score for radha will be 7 and player 2 will initially get four points because he he or she packed four uh, boxes and there will be no extra point because they uh, because she or he packed only two unique boxes or two unique sweets and uh, for two unique sweets there are no extra points okay so in this way we calculated both of this and we can easily see radha is the winner so we have to output radha now see the code so this is the simple code you can all see that so just we have initialized something and then this ans vector is there we will take the input n that is number of players we will go through each of the player and we will take m now this is the m this will determine how many boxes that player will have okay and uh, now we created set so you all must be aware why we created set in order to get the unique sweets or unique boxes and we know that set always contain unique numbers so the moment we will insert 1 2 1 2 in the set 
we will get we will just get one and two because set always store unique values and then we will take the length of the set so that will be the unique okay so we will we have created this set and uh, uh, initially as i told you m will always be there in the score because that much boxes that player has to pack so score will be initially m that is number of boxes and then one by one we will append or we will insert all the boxes number into set so we know that set will always do the unique things um, means it will store the unique numbers so that if i take the size of it it means that unique sweets he or she packed so let me give you an example if you convert all this number into set 3 4 1 2 6 then what will be the size of the set 5 because all will all are unique so we know that there are five unique suites but if you insert 1 2 1 2 into the set set will store 1 and 2 only because set is storing the unique values and now we will take the length of this or size of this so we will get two it means this player has two unique suites packed okay so same thing we are there are nothing extra in this now the moment we get by s dot size we will get how many unique suites uh, that player packed and we will check if it is four then increase the count of score by one if it is five increase the score by two if it is greater than or equal to 6, increase the score by 4. So we got the score of that player, we will insert into, we will push it in, into ns vector. Okay. So finally, this answer vector will have the scores of all the players. Now, now in case of output, you have to see three things. So in case of output, they are saying that if Radha is winner, just output Radha. But if there are two or more winner, then output tie. Or else output the index of the winner. So if player 1 is the winner, just output Radha. But if there are two or more winner, output tie. And if there is only one winner, but that is not Radha, then just output that player index. Okay, so let us say player 2 is winner. So you have to output 2. Okay. So now we got, uh, now we got the answer vector. So at first we will uh, store the maximum of that ns vector. So that maximum will be the maximum score that we have stored. Why we have stored that? Because based on that maximum, we will check how many winners are there. So if suppose 2 persons are there in that uh, vector having same score and that is maximum it means two winner are there so that's why there is one in uh, we have taken a variable winner count and one is winner index okay and now we will iterate through all the elements of the ns vector and we will check is it the maximum or is it the winner so if it is yes, then we will increase the count of winner. Okay, because we have already calculated the maximum. So how many person have maximum? All are winner. So the moment uh, that one is equal to maximum, we will increase the count of winner and we will store the winner index. And now if we check that, okay, we have more than two winner because winner count is greater than equals to two, then we will see out tie. But if there is only one winner, then we will check is it Radha or not. So if winner index is 0, it means it is Radha. So we will output Radha. Else we will output whatever winner may be like 2, 3, 4, 5. And plus 1, why we have done, I hope you all are aware. Because see, indexing start from 0. So if this player is winner, so he's, he or so that player index will be 1 but we have to say second winner means player 2 is winner so index is 1 but we have to output 2 
because player 2 is winner we cannot say player uh, having index 1 is winner player 2 this is player 1 this is player 2 okay so that's why we have done winner index plus 1 so this was all let me run this let us run a few cases so let me give one suppose there are two player player one having suppose four boxes one two three four player two having suppose two boxes one two okay so we can see radha is winner because radha will get four points and all are unique so four unique means one extra point so five points he will get and player two will get only two points so radha is winner try some more so let me make a tie so let us give a three player all having only one boxes okay so we can see it is tie because player one will always have score one player two also having score one all are having score one so it will be tie now let us make some test case for player two winner so let us take two player and player one having only one boxes and two having two boxes okay so we can see player two is winner now try some more or i think this is enough for now so in this way we can see this was the code all about so if you have any doubt in any line of the code you can write in the comment section and if you want this code in the comment section you can say that i will put it there also and uh, you can run your own test cases here so so i hope it is all from my side and uh, uh, try practicing more and more questions now these coding questions are very important for all of you so thank you thank you guys take care